what is Interstellar about for you and how does a human story relate to a space story in your mind? The thing that really attracted me to the project was the central relationship between a father and his children. Uh, I love the idea of contrasting that against the cosmic scale, you know, getting out into space. Um, for me, the, the shift between those two things and the, and the focus on the idea of uh, a potential moment of human evolution, the idea that one day we may have to reckon with our, our place beyond this planet, our place in, in the wider universe, uh, that seemed like a really interesting thing to, to tackle. Was the biggest challenge translating that scientific jargon into movie making? Well, there were a number of challenges in Interstellar. Um, certainly trying to explain, you know, some, mm. some very otherworldly concepts uh, to the audience in the course of the story uh, definitely presented a challenge, but I had, had very good collaborators, including Kip Thorne, our scientific advisor, who's an executive producer on the film. He was extremely helpful with getting that across. And, and ultimately, uh, the challenge really was to create, you know, a, a thrill ride for the audience that, that hopefully has a, a little more to it. And as usual to you, you always, you know, choose your cast very carefully. So mm. tell us a bit about, you know, Matthew and Anne working with her again and, and Michael, who you work with all the time. There's a couple of actors I've worked with before, Michael Caine and, and Anne Hathaway. Um, it's lovely to work with, with great people. And, and if you have a great time with them, it's, it's fun to repeat that. Uh, but ultimately, as you, as you finish the script, you're really trying not to think of specific actors. You want to mm. get the story as best you can and then turn around and say, okay, who could play this central figure? Who could play Cooper? Cooper's a pilot. Uh, he's got the right stuff. There's, there's something of the cowboy about him. And to me, Matthew McConaughey seemed absolutely perfect for that. Um, and luckily, he, he agreed to do it. He's a fabulous actor, but he, he's also got that wonderful movie star charisma that, that something we very needed, at, very much needed at the heart of this film is, is somebody to take you on this journey. And uh, Matthew does that really wonderfully. Absolutely. Does Michael Caine agree to anything you propose to him? <laughs> He's agreed to everything so far I propose to him. Uh, and uh, it's, it's lovely in this film to, to challenge him to, to do something I, I haven't seen him do before. And that's a really fun thing to work with somebody you've worked with so many times, but give him something new to do. It looks... Right, I'll just watch your hand. Yes. He's coming into shot oh. when you lift it. Sorry, okay, so sorry. Fast. Uh, the film looks visually spectacular. Uh, I know you like IMAX very much for your movies. Why is that? And, and what do you not like in terms of digital technologies? Well, I love film. Um, I love the quality of it. Um, it's the highest resolution, best color reproduction, these kind of things. Uh, but ultimately, all of that is, is irrelevant. Um, the IMAX thing, uh, shooting on IMAX film, what it gives us is when you can project it on those massive screens, it's about immersion. It's about really giving the audience a great experience. And uh, we chose the format that could really envelop the audience and really make them feel like they've gone on an incredible journey. And we have. <laughs> you've, is it the right impression that you've used a little green screen, everything that looks real, feels real? I didn't want to use green screen because it's really boring to shoot, honestly. <laughs> you turn up, it's a depressing day when you have to shoot green screen. Uh, what's really fun is to come onto these sets we built that felt more like uh, simulator rides than sets. And so the actors could actually look out the windows, see the real views. Uh, we could really just shoot what they were doing in the whole sequence, almost like a documentary. It's far more, uh, far more fun, frankly. And I think that hopefully the feeling of reality sort of seeps into what the film is. Is it difficult to use um, a watch as a plot point without giving anything away? <laughs> uh, I don't know how to answer that one, actually. Too many spoilers, yeah. There's not a lot you can really say about the plot elements of the film, because the plot's very simple. And I think the less people know about specific plot points, the more they're going to enjoy the film. So really what I keep saying is it's about, it's about the journey. It's about having an exciting experience in the cinema. Yeah, no, I totally agree. What would you like audiences to come out of the film thinking and feeling? Well, I'm hoping that they'll, they'll feel a strong emotional engagement with the characters and the dilemma of the characters. Uh, it's something I felt very uh, strongly about while I was making the film. And really, to, to go on a great journey with characters, to be, through a, to be going through a set of extreme experiences with characters, uh, emotionally as well as in you know, action terms and all the rest, uh, I'm hoping that, that audiences come out of the film invigorated and a little exhausted, hopefully. Yes, and dreaming about it all night, as I have. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and about the supporting cast, how important is it for you to choose the right people? You chose very strong actors for it. For me, every film is about creating the right ensemble. Um, even with a film like this that has a very strong figure at the centre of it that Matthew McConaughey is playing, it's very important to have you know, great supporting cast around, get, the, get a feeling of 
uh, actors will challenge each other. You know, really great actors work at the top of their game, um, and even in the in the smaller roles, people like Casey Affleck and Topher Grace, he's terrific, terrific actors. David Jesse. Um, Really, I like putting together a great group of actors who will uh, challenge each other, rise to each other's challenges. And finally, do you have to be fascinated by a story to want to direct it? I mean, directing a film, is a, it's a long-term commitment. It takes years. Um, and so I find I have to be really fascinated with the story and really fascinated with the whole world of it and the, the technical challenges you're going you're gonna to face. And for you, what is this most about? Obviously, there's a lot of themes in Interstellar. Hmm. I think Interstellar for me is most about being a father. It's about a father's relationship with his kids. It's about what the connections between us mean, uh, who we are as people. 